guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Tonight, we are going to be unboxing the Candyland Funko Pops. They are going to be retro toys, super cool. Now, I have a few of these. I didn't buy the whole line because I didn't want the whole line, um, but I did get the ones, I, the characters I really wanted. This is going to be the red player piece here. Unfortunately, they only have the red. I, I say unfortunately because I know some people like the green, myself included. Some people like the yellow and they like the blue. I'll get into that a little bit further in this game, but this is the only player place but this is the only player piece as of now that you can buy on the back of all right now let's take a look at the back of the box so on the back of the box we have player piece who we're doing tonight mr mint who we're going to be unboxing next we have jolly who i do not have at this moment and i kind of don't really want to get queen frostine who is my favorite character and we will be unboxing her soon and king candy who i love as well um so yeah i really love this line i can't wait to get into this so without further ado here we go our first character from candyland the player piece all right guys, this is the player piece out of its box, looking super duper dope, right? I love the way this one looks. I have to say, I'm a little bit, I'm kind of like, not really bummed, but I'm surprised that they didn't do like a four pack of the player. That's what I would have done, um, where you can get the different options if you like the blue, the green, or the yellow. They should have done something like that. I think that would have been like a smarter idea than just releasing just the red, but who knows? I mean, this could be just the first of two Candyland lines because i did notice there were a few i guess you could say key characters missing um as far as like the lollipop princess and uh, mrs i think butterworth is her name so there were um oh no i think it's like mrs peanut brittle or something like that um so there were a few different characters that were not included i did see that some of them are exclusives for example i think the little uh like he's not a jelly bean guy but he's like the little like like jellied candy guy, whatever, was an Emerald City Con exclusive. Um, another one of them, the Mr. Licorice, was like a Target exclusive, which I do have that one as well. So there were a few characters that are not a part of the main line of Pops. So I'm thinking that maybe in the future they might release this as part of a four pack or maybe do a three pack of the other ones, but then maybe not. Maybe maybe this is the only character piece. I'm not even sure if it was like a voted on thing and that's why the red one went out. Not quite sure why. Um, however, I mean, they're kind of generic, so you can pretty much get like any little paint coloring, color over it and make it the green, make it the blue and the yellow if you want to go that route. I don't think it's a terrible route to go. Okay, and so here's our player piece turning around. You can see that it's a little bit like slanted, but I think that's the whole point of the piece. Um, or not the whole point of the piece, but I just think that that was like, it's like something that was meant to happen, um, rather than being like a pop malfunction or something like that, because it's not drastically turned, that's just how it ends up looking. But yeah, I mean, this pop is really cool, I do like it, um, I, I love the player pieces, I do wish that there were all four of them, that would have been really cool, but like I said, you know, it is what it is. Um, I do have my ring light on this one, you can see the pop more clearly, I'm actually going to do one more little close-up of the pop. So you can see it a little bit better than before. And I think it looks nice. I think he's, it's a cute little pop. It really is. It reminds me of like a gingerbread cookie, which I think is the point of these. I mean, it must be, it's Candyland, right? So, I mean, gingerbread isn't necessarily candy, but it is a sweet treat, right? So I think that's like the whole point of them looking like this. It's just like them being a little sweet treat. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these Funko Pops. Did you guys like this line? Are you crazy about the line? Or did you just like, eh, whatever? Um, and also, I mean, do you think there should be more characters? Do you think the, the lollipop princess should get a pop? Do you think um, the peanut brittle lady should get a pop? I personally do. Like I said, I think it's it's cool to have the whole, the, I would love to have the entire set because I grew up with Candyland. I love Candyland. It's been one of my favorite games since I was a kid. And no, not because I was a little fat kid, but, but because I just enjoy the characters. I thought it was really cool. It's an easy enough game to play. And sometimes my friends and I would play like Ultimate Candyland where we get like a few boards instead of just the one board. It was, looking back at it now, it was kind of a complicated game to play, but we had fun playing it. Um, I also have a Disney version of Candyland I got from the parks a few years ago, and I have noticed that Candyland characters over time have changed completely. Like, if you look at the original board game to what we have now, like, they've, you know, hipped them up, modernized them, but something they could really, um, I think could do with Candyland is make it a show. Like, I think that'd be kind of interesting, right? Like, to just kind of make it, like, at least a one-season thing, maybe, where these kids have to, like, go on this like crazy adventure or maybe even a movie. I'm really surprised Disney has not made that a movie. I did hear a few years back Candyland might be turned into a film, but I'm not sure what happened with that. If it's still in production, who knows? I don't, maybe by the next video I might have some more insight on that. But yeah, this one is really cool. 
All right, here he is back to center. Once again, guys, this is going to be the player piece. Looking super duper dope. I got this one, I think, at GameStop for about $11.99. No, that's a lie. They are right now currently nine. I think they're $9 a piece right now for uh, the Funko Pops at GameStop. I don't know how long the promotion is going to be for, but that's what he was when I got him. And that's still the same promotion as uh, it was today when I went in there. So I went to go get Mr. Peppermint, who I'll be unboxing next. But yeah, super duper cool. You guys, thank you so much for all of your likes, your follow, subscribe, thank you for sharing. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, well, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications so whenever I drop a brand new video, you guys are notified about it. And please, please, please leave me a nice big like on this video, let me know you guys like all the work I'm coming up with. Again, we are just getting to the Candyland line. I have four more Candyland pops to unbox for you guys. So I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Peace.